On the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me Three beaver tails, two caribou, and a porcupine in a pine tree Now I did get it right. The other day I got it wrong. Anyways, day three, and it's the beaver time. Beaver tails, beaver, beavers, three beavers. In the book, which is here, we've got the three beavers, and once again I've got the real painting, and you can see the painting right above here. And what we want to do is we want to draw the beavers. So, we'll slide this over top here. Oops, we're not going to hide that. We'll put it right there and keep it from sliding. My table's a little bit of a tilt, and everything seems to be slippery. Three slippery beaver tails. Anyways, now everybody knows that beaver tail really are those delicious treats that you get in Ottawa, but I still thought, because I'm doing animals, I was going to do beavers. Now, I have my pencils here. I'm going to explain that another day on, the, uh, on my blog, but I'm going to use a 3B, which means it's not that soft and not that hard. Once again, here we go. I've got to make sure that you realize this. This is a circle, the square, and the triangle. Once again, that's the important stuff to do. And K I S S. Keep it simple, silly. And that's as much for me than as it is for you. Now, the beavers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the ground again. And then the important thing is we're going to just do a line to show which way they sit. This is called a gesture line. And if, if he was sitting straight, we would do it straight. But we're going to do a line going this way for one beaver, and one going that way, and one going here, in the middle. And the reason for that is we're going to have them leaning different directions. And then we're going to start is with a nice oval, squish circle, another oval right there. And then for the heads, we'll put another circle, and another circle here. And in fact, for behind, we'll just do this one poking through. Now for their faces, what we want to do is, we'll first of all connect the outsides, their bodies. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, I'm going to just do a line like this that shows me the direction of their face. And there's a little trick. Sometimes I do little circles like that over top to show which way the shape of the, the form of the head is. Now we can do little light lines like that. Again, we're going to do a line for the, for the eyes. The eyes. And that way also we get for the ears. So we'll put ears in. I know the beavers have little tiny ears and I don't think they really show, but I'm doing cartoony beavers. And we'll put the noses on here. Put their eyes. Put their ears. And we'll have this one looking over the back. So he's going to just look from behind like this. Put his nose on there. Now they're going to have little cheeks. It would be like little circles. We're just going to do the bottom parts of those. And cheeks on here. And then we'll put the teeth on here. Teeth here. And we'll put his teeth sticking out right here. And there's his eye. And now we should have their feet. Oh wait, this guy's eyes right here. There we go. So they're one's leaning one way and one's leaning the other way. Now their feet. We'll put the triangles for their feet. Now we want them looking, his feet pointing that way and his feet pointing that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a line around that way and that way. And we'll put their feet on just lines like this and lines like this. Again, these are just the rough lines. And we'll put their hands on the little hands, little lines for their hands. Now, what we'll do is we'll take these and turn them into triangles. I hope this is not too messy, but I start off with really messy drawings when I first start out. And then we'll put their toes in, just like we did with the caribou antlers. And on this side, a beaver, a real beaver, they got webbed feet, so I just put the toes like this. And we'll put their his little arms around like this. And his arms. And then the way we 
we're going to indicate that they're curved. We're going to put the ribbon like this and the ribbon like this. Oh, their tails. For their tails, instead of doing circles, we're going to squish the circles because we're looking at them from the side. So we'll do a squish circle right here and another squish circle right here. And then the last tail we'll just put right here because the three of them are tied together by their tails. Poor little beavers. We'll put the ribbon and now the ribbon and again they're like little triangles with little triangles cut off. When I say triangles, I'm not finishing the tips. We'll put the ribbon on here. And the ribbon coming down here like this. And that would be, and then we can just make these lines a little stronger. And that would be our beaver, three beaver for today. And I hope you check out the blog on my, through my website, wernerzimmerman.ca. It'll take you a link to the blog, and you'll see more of these postings. So, three beaver tails for the 12 days of drawing. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow for four carrot, oh, four moose. <laughs>